Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fold an armchair. This is a traditional model. I'll be using a six inch sheet of kami. And we're going to start with the colored side down. Next we'll valley fold in half along the horizontal. So we'll bring this top edge down to lie along the bottom edge. Just make sure that lines up corner to corner and then crease it down. Next we're going to valley fold this top layer back up. So we'll bring this edge up to lie along the top edge. Do this with just one layer. Now turn the paper over right to left. Next we're going to bring this right edge into lie along this bottom edge. We'll be bisecting this bottom right corner. Just make sure that lines up all the way out to the corner and crease it down. Then do the same thing on the left side. So we'll bring this left edge into this bottom edge. Next, we're going to make uh, an asymmetric squash fold. We're going to start on the right side here. So if you look inside, we're, we're going to pull this top layer up, and then we're going to bring this edge into lie along this center vertical edge. So I'll show you what I mean. So line that edge up in the center, and then crease it down and that crease is going to extend up here. And it'll look like that. Now we'll do the same thing on the left side. So you open up that top layer and bring that edge into the center and then crease it. Next we're gonna make a squash fold with this flap so we'll open that up. And then what I like to do is put my finger inside here, then we'll make a valley fold right along this edge. And then we'll squash it down, forming the flap into a square. Then we'll do the same thing on the left side. Just open that up. Start that valley fold and then push the square down. Next we're going to bring this top edge in to this right edge just with this one flap. Just line those edges up and crease. Same thing on the left side. Now we'll do the same thing with this bottom right flap. We'll take this bottom edge out to the edge on the right. Same thing on the bottom left. Now turn the whole model over right to left. Next we'll bring this top edge into this center horizontal edge. We'll do the same thing with this bottom edge.
Next, we're going to bring this edge into the center, which will make a valley fold between these two points. Just like that. And the same thing on the left. Now turn the whole model over. We're going to bring this point into the center. Now we're going to pick the whole thing up. And we're going to fold this edge up at a right angle. And then this crease that's in the center is going to reverse as we do this next step. So we'll take this flap on the right and open it out. And then this crease that we had should reverse. You can pinch it from the other side and everything should stick up at a right angle to the rest of the model. And we'll do the same with the left side. Just like that. And now on the bottom, these two flaps are going to become the legs, so you'll just open those out at a right angle. Now it should look like this. You can be done right here if you'd like, but I like to fold these tips in a little bit just so they're not quite so pointy. So to do that, you open this up between these two layers and then make a small inside reverse fold on the edge. Just fold the point in and close it back up. And then I do the same on the other arm. It's done to taste, you can fold it in however much you'd like. But it should look something like this, and it should be able to stand up. Now we're all done. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.